What's up guys, Nintendo here once again, and it is time for that famed epic pickup video that I have been promising for a long, long time. I've got a ton of toys to show you guys, um, including some stuff that I got literally over a year ago. I promised you guys a toy pickup video after I came back from Mexico and I never actually did it. And uh, I'm not exactly sure if I showed any of it off or not. I didn't actually go through my old episodes and look, but I don't think I showed any of it off. So, first of all, what I'm going to show you guys is a bunch of Z-Bots that I got. Uh, mostly, it's all, the clip's already been recorded. We're going to cut to that clip in a second. But I, as I said, I think I got them from Pickers Paradise in Medford and definitely a lot of them in Mexico. So I'm going to cut away to that clip, show you the Z-Bots that I already have, and then I'll show you some Z-Bots that I just got recently. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty cool. So let's go check out Z-Bots that I already have. Alright, so these are the Z-Bots that I have already, and I'm not really sure where all these came from, but uh, some came from Mexico, and some came from Pickers Paradise, I believe, in Medford. But anyways, I'll just show you those real close up. Sorry there's like dust flying around everywhere, I just unpacked a bunch of toys. But, yeah, so there's all kinds of interesting ones. Uh, that second guy actually, like, here I'll show you. He like transforms into a little car. If I can do it with one hand, and yeah, there's just some pretty cool guys. I've always liked the dude with no arms, and uh, I like that guy that's got the suction cup on the bottom. He's pretty cool. He's one of the few that I have that's broken. He has like a spiked baseball bat that uh, broke off before I got him. And uh, this guy, there's actually another pallet swap right here. Same exact dude, just different colors. I prefer this guy. And then I just found out while I was setting these guys up that this guy does this. I had no idea, but he opens up like a giant monster mouth. Rawr! And uh, he's got tank treads. I really like that guy. He's one of my favorites, especially now that I know he does that. So he's pretty cool. And then uh, this guy's got like a little shield like Dr. Mindbender. And uh, I really like these last two. This like dark alien looking dude, the second to last one, he is freaking awesome. And then this last one is by far the most classic Z-Bot you'll ever find. This is the one that most people have. He's, he's pretty common. He's like the snake guy of Battle Beasts. He's the most recognizable. And the reason he is my favorite is because he totally, totally looks like a Mega Man boss. That looks like he should be in a Mega Man game. But anyways, yes, those are my Z-Bots uh, that I already have. But I got a bunch of new ones, so let's go check those out. All right, for my first pickup, I got this guy. Oh wait, he's not a toy. He's just a fat piece of cheese. What's up, cheese? Okay, so my stepson got me a few Z-Bots. I, I honestly can't remember where he got these from. I, I think maybe he was in Mexico again, uh, and he found these, or flea market, or garage sale? I honestly can't remember, I'll have to ask him. But anyways, there's two vehicles, which I didn't even remember the Z-Boss had vehicles. And uh, they're pretty cool because they like kind of connect and deconnect, whatever the <laughs> whatever the word is for not connecting. They uh, decouple right here and you can attach like other pieces of vehicles to them. And uh, yeah, they seat little Z-Bots, which I got two of these guys. There, let me straighten him out. Little cool dude. Uh, he looks like William Riker. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, I got another one of him, and then I got this little red dude, which I kind of like. I think he has, like, guns on both hands. Actually, you know what? Pretty sure I already have this guy, so he's also a double, but he's kind of a cool one, so that's pretty neat. And then I got these two, like, they're, like, almost like ATS-2 walkers. They're pretty darn cool. I kind of like them, but I really like this green palette. So, uh, yeah, thanks, Aiden. That was from my stepson. Pretty darn cool. And I did get one more Z-Bot that I'll show you later on that I got in a lot from a buddy named Richard. Okay, so next I'm going to show you a few more toys that I got from Mexico. These are really freaking cool and was something that I wasn't really expecting to find. Uh, in fact, one of them, I got two of them because it was just unusual to find something so cool. And for a really decent price, I don't remember exactly how much they were, but with the conversion rate and low prices of this place that we were at, uh, I got them for fairly cheap. Now this was at a place called a Vaquero. I think it's a Vaquero. Pretty sure. But anyways, it's kind of like a... Uh, 
oh, it's hard to describe. They just have everything. Like, there's a lot of clothes, and then there will be, like, used toys. And then there was even some uh, video games, some used video games. I didn't get much there as far as video games. And the ones that I did, I already showed in pickup videos a long, long time ago. But did get a few really cool toys besides those Z-Bots that you already saw. And uh, we're going to go ahead and cut away to a clip right here to show you those. And, uh, yeah, you might be blown away by a couple because they are so so damn cool and I forgot how cool they were until I saw them again so let's go check that out okay first toy we have from Mexico is what I thought was a visionary but is not a visionary it is a supernatural uh, visionaries were made by Hasbro if I remember correctly also featured holograms on their chest and on their weapons which was really cool and they definitely had a lot more points of articulation which was actually really cool they moved a lot like GI Joe's from the 80s and 90s uh, but Supernaturals were a little darker, and they, believe it or not, were made by Tonka. And I really liked their holograms a lot, but uh, either way, both toys really cool. Um, but yeah, this guy is awesome. His name is Dark Dragon, if I remember correctly. And this is no joke about the most black metal figure I have ever seen, and the holograms coming across really good on film. I am actually really surprised. Though in real life, it's more green than orangish red, but uh, yeah, this guy is really cool. Dark Dragon from uh, uh, Supernaturals from Tonka. Of all of all toys, Tonka's known for, you know, trucks and stuff like that, but uh, no, they also made Supernaturals super dark toys that were pretty awesome. I don't have his chest piece, I don't have his weapon, I don't have a shield, I don't have anything, but I don't care. I have a thing for figures and hoods and like grim reapers and stuff like that so that this guy is really cool to me <sighs> okay so this guy <laughs> i was pretty impressed to get um i got this guy at the same place i got that guy in mexico this place called a vaquero which is basically like an indoor flea market kind of sort of uh but they sell everything from clothes to video games to you know toys and tools and just everything so, uh, yeah, I was rummaging mostly through the toys because the video games they didn't really have too much of. They'd obviously been picked through. But as you already saw, I got a bunch of Z-Bots, and then I got the Supernatural guy, and then I found this guy. T-800, I believe, is what he is, because the T-1000 is liquid metal, I believe. Talk about nerding out. But anyways, he twists, uh, which is cool because those little, like, things right here actually kind of stretch. And so that's cool, and the things inside his chest move when you move his arms, and... Uh, you can't really see it now, maybe I'll try to include a clip somewhere in here, but uh, his eyes glow really red when there's a light on top because of those two little red clear things up there. Uh, so when there's a light coming from above, his eyes glow red and it is amazing. I don't even care that I don't have any other Terminator toys. This is my favorite one, the only one I even care about. I keep poking him in the crotch on accident. Uh, but anyways, yes, he is awesome. So, the next things I got, oh boy. Alien toys. Uh, I was not expecting to find these. I had a couple of these when I was a kid. Uh, maybe just one, actually. This is the gorilla dude, and if you squeeze these, his arms, like, crush. Rawr! And then, um, if you squeeze his head, he actually shoots water out of his mouth, which is amazing. And he is just detailed and colored so amazing. These toys were like the McFarlane toys back then. <laughs> Before there was a McFarlane toys, they were so, so detailed and so cool. And uh, just not something I expected to find. Used in Mexico for super cheap. So I got him, and I got the Mother Alien, which is freaking amazing. She's cool, but she's really hard to stand. Uh, hard to tell, but you can see through this top piece and kind of see inside there. You can kind of see on camera. Ugh. Hard to cap. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see inside there. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. But really hard to stand. I have to, like, lean her on another guy. And then my favorite one, for sure, the bull alien. Uh, he is just sweet. Colored awesome. And he's the one I had as a kid. And when I went to Mexico, there was two of these at that store for a cheap price. So I picked them both up, and one of them went to my buddy Jake. Uh, I think just as a gift. Maybe that was a Transformer, I'm not sure, but uh, if not, it went towards a trade. But he's really cool, just super detailed on painting, and I remember this guy always fought my G.I. Joes when I was a kid, and he does this, which is amazing. He's got a little switch back here, so his leg can go BAM, and he shoots out his freaking head, and once his head is extended like that, you can, like, buck it with this switch back here, which is just amazing. And, uh, yeah, definitely one of my coolest, like, childhood toys 
gotten again. Okay, I can't put that back in. I tried like 50 times. But anyways, yeah, those all came from Mexico for a really decent price. Uh, I believe they're only a couple bucks each, and that's with conversion, so yeah, just super cool. All right, let's move on to the next thing. <laughs> all right, so those are pretty awesome toys. I freaking... Love the alien toys, they're so cool, and that Terminator figure is just, like, seriously one of the coolest toys I've ever seen. Even if I don't want the rest of the Terminator toys, like any of them, just that one is so cool to have. So, uh, yeah, pretty darn cool. Okay, so the next thing I got for you, I did a video game trade with a buddy named Richard, and I've done quite a few trades with this guy, and he's always kicking cool stuff down, and because of that, I sent him a care package, and he got some free stuff, and then he ended up sending me some free stuff, and with a trade that we did. So, if you remember from one of my last pickup videos, he had traded me Alien Soldier on Wii and Trauma Center on Wii, and I told you that he'd also sent some toys some toys along with that and uh, pretty much just kicked them down to me. In fact, the whole thing that started off this package was uh, the two last things I'm going to show and he just kicked those down to me, which was the most incredible thing ever. So thank you very much for that, Richard. Let's go check that stuff out because there's a couple cool things in there for sure. All right, so first of all, we got the last Z-Bot that I got. This is from Richard and was just a kick down. He's pretty cool though. He's got four legs and the little Z and I like his like little clamp freaking hands they're pretty awesome so he's pretty cool thank you for that Richard and then another kick down was uh, this GI Joe guy which is pretty cool I had this guy when I was a kid and he's got like the karate chop action he's one of the like oh early 90s maybe getting on to mid 90s probably even says somewhere on here let's see here if it'll focus focus on his ass 1991 early 90s so uh, yeah this guy uh, was part of this ninja set that I remember having quite a few of and they all had like ninja action But uh, they were still built like the old GI Joe, so they're actually pretty cool and Legitimately, this is my only GI Joe. I think I have now so thank you for that Richard. That's actually really cool I actually plan on collecting old GI Joe's again not the big figures, but the the size figures from the late 80s late 80s and uh, early 90s uh, so we'll see about getting some of those, but they're starting to get pricey. And then the last two things I got from Richard. Oh, so amazing. So, so amazing. Uh, the last two Hot Wheels I needed for my Mario set. So uh, there they are. I've got the Mario 1, 2, and 3, Dr. Mario, Super Mario World, and the Mario Kart Hot Wheels. And of course, as soon as I get all of them, like literally, like a week or two later... <laughs> I see somebody post about the new ones, and I'm like, holy crap! Now I have to try to get these new ones, and they don't look nearly as cool as these ones, so... I'm honestly not sure if I'm gonna go for the new ones. It would be kinda nice, but, uh, I'm just happy that I got these. This was the mo one I was after the most, because it's a freaking VW bus. I mean, if it would focus... Yeah, there we go. It's really freaking cool. Love it! So, yeah, I got four cool things from Richard that were just pretty much kicked down that was also included in a trade that we did. Um... But yeah, really cool. He always kicks me down cool stuff, and recently I kicked him a couple uh, Sega Game Gear games and a copy of Taz, I believe, on Super Nintendo for his daughter. <laughs> I believe that was what it was. Taz for your daughter, right? Pretty sure, if you're watching this comment below. But anyways, thank you very much for that, Richard. That is amazing. Okay, and the last thing I have for you... My favorite toys in the entire world. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I'm constantly on the hunt for these things, just constantly, constantly, constantly. Uh, with these new ones that I have, I have 18 now, and that's actually quite a bit considering not that long ago I didn't have any. So, um, yeah, really on the hunt for these. Let's go just go straight to the video and check it out. I cannot wait to show you these. Uh, this is the last thing I have for you, and uh, I am super, super, super excited for this. Okay, first of all, I got this bad fucker online. Um, this is the first Battle Beast I decided to order on eBay, and I kind of sort of got ripped off on him. Uh, <laughs> the guy was charging like 10 bucks for him, and the picture showed a rub symbol and a weapon, and when it came to me like this, I was a little disappointed, and he said, well, didn't you read the description? So I go back to the listing, and sure enough, at the very bottom of the listing, very bottom of the listing, said, uh, this is not the actual Battle Beast you will be receiving. <laughs> and that it said, like, no rub symbol, no 
no uh, sign. So I was like, why the hell did you use that picture? Anyways, dude gave me a partial refund on it because that was pretty dipshittish of him to uh, include a picture that wasn't the real thing, especially because it wasn't like a stock photo. It was um, like it looked like it had been taken of somebody's personal battle beast. So anyways, uh, yeah, he's the owl. He's amazing. One of my favorites for sure. Um, God, I love him. He looks like a Robotech character mixed with an owl. Okay, and then uh, I did a trade recently with somebody else, another Richard. <laughs> uh, little does he know, he has a nickname. His nickname is Who's Richard? Um, because my girlfriend kept asking, every time I mentioned this guy, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go do, do a trade with Richard. She'd be like, Who's Richard? And I'd be like, You know, that guy that's in our group, and I'm trading him this and this. And she'd be like, Oh, okay. And then the next time I'd do a trade, you know, she'd ask where I was going or something, and I'd be like, I'm doing a trade with Richard, and she'd be like, who's Richard? And I'd be like, dude, that dude that I talked about last time, that's the exact same thing you said. And so, anyways, Richard's nickname has now become Who's Richard, and uh, this is probably the first he knows about that, but it's pretty damn funny. Richard's a cool guy, he's a video game collector, but uh, I had put out a wanted post on my video game group for Battle Beasts, and told people that I was willing to trade video games for Battle Beasts, and, um, yeah, he showed me a picture of a bunch of them, and he even brought them in the next trade night, but we had trouble negotiating on them. Finally, I did get them off of him. I gave him a copy of uh, Metal Marines on Super Nintendo, and uh, I think it was 10 bucks. But what I got, first of all, uh, nothing huge here. Really hard to aim my hand <laughs> on camera. But uh, I needed this weapon for the uh, mouse guy. I have the mouse guy, but I didn't have his weapon. And he had a, a few extra weapons. That was the only one I needed, so that's awesome. Okay, so then I got the gorilla. You can call him Harambe if you want. And then I got me the skunk, which is really cool. He's actually one of the first ones I ever had as a kid. He is amazing. He's got like the little breathing apparatus on his face. And he looks like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, but a purple skunk that's evil. So yeah, he's pretty cool. And then uh, the beaver, which my only beef about the beaver, which is kind of funny to say, uh, is his tail doesn't look like a beaver tail. Oh, and this guy is the only one that had like a stain. He's got this blue stain on his hand. That kind of sucks, but no big deal. I knew about it ahead of time. But anyways, other than the tail, I really like him. I like his webbed feet. Really cool. Okay, and then we got uh, arguably some people's favorites. When I showed pictures of this, of this, a couple people really liked the hippo. But this is the hippopotamus. He's pretty awesome. Most of these have no rub symbol, no weapons or anything. This guy doesn't have a weapon, but he does have a rub symbol. Let's see what he is. Is he wood, fire, or water? He's water. And he's awesome. Badass kangaroo. I like his tail. It's really beefy. <laughs> and he just looks evil. I like all their eyes. And one of my favorites for sure. Always like this guy. This guy's an anteater. And I like his like digging claw on his left hand. And uh, his armor is just cool. But man, Battle Beasts kick so much ass. They're so amazing. And the last one I got, last toy I have for you guys, the one Battle Beast I got that was complete. This guy is amazing. Uh, this is the Polar Bear. And he's got this cool, like, scythe axe thing. And he's got really cool armor. And I want to say this guy's water, too. Which is funny because, you know, some of these guys, it doesn't matter if they're an ice or water creature. You know, in real life, sometimes they'll have, like, a fire symbol on their chest or, you know, something like that. But, um, no, he's actually a water, so his symbol actually matches him quite well. It's pretty awesome. But, yeah, very happy to get those. So this brings my total, as I said earlier, I believe, in the episode... This brings my total to 18, and I'm very happy about that. So thank you very much for that, Richard. Ah, I almost forgot this guy. I was checking out uh, some Legos in this like toy store in Albany, and I didn't know that they made little like blister blind packs of Disney characters, and I got pretty excited. So uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, I like old Disney movies, and Aladdin's definitely one of the cool ones. So uh, really need to get him. I was actually pretty stoked on that. Alright guys, so that's it. There's the toy pickup I've been promising forever. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It seemed like some people genuinely wanted to watch that, and uh, I was actually happy to film it, though those are a little harder to film because of the uh, segments and everything. But uh, man, that freaking Supernaturals hologram is really coming through good on film. That's really cool. Uh, but yeah, really cool to get all the Battle Beasts and uh, Aliens and tons and tons of Z-Bots that I have now. I just need a place to display these. I'm not really sure where... 
I mean, I guess I could put them on these Super Nintendo shelves, but I really don't like my games being blocked. So, I don't know, we'll figure something out. But, uh, yeah. Really cool. Thank you, Richard. And, uh, thank you, Richard. And thank you, Aiden. And, uh, let's see. Thank you, Mexico, I guess. So, yeah. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, please give a thumbs up and, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, what toy pickups have you gotten recently? And, or what are your favorite toys from the 80s or 90s? Those are the ones I'm probably interested in. So, uh, yeah. Leave a comment below. And if you want to see more, uh, probably more game stuff but uh if you want to see more game stuff go ahead and hit that subscribe button i'm not sure how often i'm going to be doing these uh toy pickups but uh you never know i mean once in a while i do pick up toys as you can see i had to move some of my gyochi which actually were on my super nintendo shelf but they're so short they don't really block anything but uh i do like toys they're pretty darn cool my second favorite thing to collect uh besides video games well, I don't know. I like Metal Cities, too. But anyways, yeah, so that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Enough rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it very much. Keep rocking the retro games.